Hi, I'm Lars from All About Samsung with another video of the brand new Galaxy S8 and Galaxy S8 Plus. Today we're gonna play some games on the brand new flagship and we're gonna see if the games are actually capable of running in 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio or what happens with those games which are not capable of running in native 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio and we're gonna see what happens with the new on-screen buttons on the Galaxy S8 while playing games. Well, let's go! So let's play some games on the brand new Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus but first we need to talk about the software Samsung is now using to improve the gaming experience. And Samsung achieved this by using the game launcher they actually announced one or two years ago. It's now found on the Samsung Galaxy S8 again but in an improved version. So when you go now to the settings and to the advanced features you're gonna see there is a game menu and there is the game launcher found. Actually, when you enable the game launcher first, you can actually move a lot of games and stuff like this into a special folder just for games so it's not found on the home screen anymore. This is quite good because by this you can actually clean up the home screen when you don't want to have like 10 or 15 games on the home screen itself. But even though in the game launcher options in the settings, there are actually no settings for the game launcher. The settings for the game launcher are found in the game launcher itself. So now we need to just go into one game and we just go, I would say, in a simple game like maybe a Riptide GPU Renegade, which is actually quite a new game. Uh, I think it's just a couple of months old, even though it's based on an older game. and. When you start a game on the Galaxy S8 first, you're gonna see it like this. And when you see a game like this, it's not that nice. Because Samsung actually has quite a long screen, which is now in an 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio. And now you have on the right and on the left uh, side some black frame. So the game is running in a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. And yeah, you're wasting a lot of actually space so it's more like playing on an iPhone than playing on a Galaxy S8. Um, we're gonna talk about this later. First we're gonna see where are actually the software buttons because when you compare it to the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus I have over here you're gonna see there are three buttons the multitasking button, the home button and the back button and on the Galaxy S8 left when you're in a game there are no buttons left even though the home button is actually still found over here so when I press this area and then you're gonna see I'm going back to the home screen so you just need to press the home button wherever you are to go back to the home screen so it's more like the physical home button found on the Galaxy S7 Edge. But we're going straight back into the game and then we are still searching for the buttons. But you can actually show them just by swiping from the right side to the left side and then there you're gonna have five buttons. Actually you have the back button, the home button and the multitasking button and you have two other buttons. This one here is by default set to another option because by default you have the screen touch, you can see it here, the screen touch yeah, lock. So there's the touch screen actually blocked so the game is still running even though you can't see it, it's a bit dimmed. And when I touch a bit on the screen you can't actually interact with the game. So you have to swipe over the display to enable and unlock the touch screen again. Um, by pressing the button for a long time you can actually choose between three options. So you have the screen touch look, lock, you have the screenshot and you have a record option. So you can just opt here for a screenshot and then you just can make it like this, a screenshot. You can do a screenshot by just pressing the power button and the volume down key like this and then you have a screenshot as well. Even though it's now booting into the yeah more or less screenshot menu so it's a bit easier and won't drag you out of the game when you're just doing the screenshot like this. And then you can just press it again for the record option. By recording the game you can just do a video of your gameplay. You can see it like this. So it's more like a gameplay options. Uh, you can see it right now. Now it's recording. It's more like a doing gameplay video option on your smartphone. So I'm gonna stop this right now. You have settings for the video actually so you can set it to different resolutions and then you have another button which is on the very bottom and this button is actually the most interesting button because when you press it for the first time you're gonna see different stuff here are actually the three options I showed you pre uh, previously and on the 
top you have the settings for the game launcher. So in here you have shortcuts, you have the options for record videos, you can set up the size of the videos and stuff like this and which microphone to use and the resolution of the videos and stuff like this. And when you go back, you actually have, I'm going back to the settings, you have just shortcuts and stuff like this. So it's not that actually, yeah, you can see it here, screen touch lock, screenshot and record, and that's it. But when you go back, there's another option in this special menu, and this is very interesting. Because when you press the button again, you're gonna see different options over here. I will start at the bottom. So you have an edge lock, lock, so you won't touch the edge by accident, so you just can play without being afraid to tap on the edge, and maybe disabling the rest of the touch screen. And then you have the no alerts during the game, so you don't have any more WhatsApp or something like this notifications. And this is the most important thing, because this, this game, as I told you before, is running in a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. And when I'm just enabling this option, I'm going to restart the game. And then you see it, the game is running in the full 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio without any problems. And it's actually not something just scaled it is an option in the android system i guess because when you compare the screenshots of this screen and the previous screen you're gonna see that it's the same size and it's just a bit wider and this is quite a nice option because there are plenty of games most of the games are actually not meant to be played in an 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio so most of the games are at the moment not playable in 18.5 to 9 but by this option you can actually yeah maybe fake a bit the 18.5 or something so at least by choosing this option all games are actually running in full screen mode and this for me actually was kind of a surprise and i'm gonna close it right now to show you something different because when i'm going back just closing the game and going in another game, um, here on the Galaxy S8, I don't have the game I want to show you. Because here I have another game. So we are going in the game launcher on the Galaxy S8 right now, just to go to Stack or something. Stack is another game in a, the 16 to 9 aspect ratio. And I have to actually choose here to the full screen mode again. So I'm choosing the full screen mode right now. And then the game actually looks really, really nice. So now you have stack in 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio and you see it looks i would say it looks quite amazing oh, to play such a game on such a screen yeah it's quite nice even though i'm just closing this option right now so i'm closing the full screen option and now it's back into the 16.9 aspect ratio i'm closing the game and now i'm gonna show you asphalt 8 which is an a car racing game and this was the only game i found which is you see, meant to be played in 18.5 to 9. So this is a game by default playable in this aspect ratio. So I'm just going into one race and you're gonna see that the game is actually running perfectly even though you have a problem because under the hood of the Galaxy S8 you have the Exynos 8895, at least in Europe, uh, combined with 4 GB of memory and you have a 64 GB of UFS 2.1 storage. So it's quite a fast device. Even though when you see this game right now, I see we're just gonna start the game and it's running perfectly smooth and it looks quite fine. At least, actually for me, it looks perfect with the 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio. But when I'm just going to pause the game and going to the options, you're gonna see that in the um, quality of the graphics, I can't choose for the high version. I just have the medium graphics quality. And I think this is something you will find on several games because it's still not perfectly optimized for to run on the Galaxy S8, but I think they're gonna be an update soon. Even though the game, you see, looks perfect, I think those kind of games, like car racing games, are perfectly to play on such an aspect ratio as you, as you have a game with a wide content area and it's quite fun actually to play it on such a game even though it's quite hard to, for me now to play it while recording the, uh, the with the camera so i'm just gonna stop it right now and we are going to another game so the next game i want to show you is back on the galaxy s8 because here we have vainglory everybody knows about vainglory i think and um, it has really decent graphics and on the galaxy s8 
you need to actually, you see it here, enable the full screen mode and then you have it in the 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio and this looks really amazing. So when I'm going to play it right now and kind of start a match, you have actually a lot of space to actually play the game. So I'm just going to start a quick round to show you how much space I got by choosing the full screen mode and you're going to see that it's I would, I would say it's a better way maybe to, to play this game because Vainglory needs a lot of space and you see a lot because you see more, uh, you have a wider area of viewing field actually to play the game and to see enemies or so. So when you're playing this like this, it looks quite good and without any flaws. So the full screen mode won't cause any issue and yeah, you're gonna see it's perfectly running. You're gonna quit Vainglory right now because when I'm going to play this round it'll take at least 20 minutes and the last round I played is maybe half a year ago. So, um, and we're going back in the game folder or the game launcher and see what we got here. Uh, maybe the Bullet Force game is quite nice to see as well because Bullet Force actually has quite a nice, yeah, I would say um, graphics. I mean, we're going to start the game you will see that in shooters you have a wider field of viewing so you're gonna see more details actually in the in the viewing area so you might see enemies maybe better if they're on the very right or very left side and there is an enemy so i'm just going to shoot a bit and you see it's running perfectly smooth and it looks perfect even though it's running perfectly smooth on the galaxy s7 edge as well but here you have a bit of more pixel to actually run on and yeah, it's still quite a nice game, it looks good. So we're just gonna quit it here before I'm going to die. And then we are seeing which game we got now. I would now go for another game on the Galaxy S8 Plus, which I got here. And we're going to play Breakneck. Actually, I'm not sure on which smartphone it's better to play. Because on the Galaxy S8 Plus, you have actually a bit of more, yeah, well, space to run a game. The Galaxy S8 actually is a bit more ergonomic in your hand, at least in one-handed mo mode. In two-handed mode, like I'm playing this game, it's not, of a, not a big difference though. So now we are just going to start the game to see this game. It's running in German as well. And yeah, we're just going in the game and you're gonna see that it's running perfectly smooth. So there's no big issue, even though I'm not good at the game so yeah don't wonder um well yeah i crashed so we're gonna stop this game right now and go into one other game because um modern combat 5 actually has quite decent graphics it's running perfectly smooth again on the Galaxy S7 Edge or something uh, or games like this. But I really do like to see how fast actually the first boot is in this game. So you see it's booting right into the game without a long waiting time to extract all the data. And yeah, again, this is German, so we're gonna skip the intro and there we are right in the game. Actually, this seems to be not perfectly optimized to be played on the Galaxy S8 because yeah it's not perfectly smooth. I, I'm not allowed to do any benchmarks right now so I just have to wait another couple of days but it's not perfectly smooth running even though it looks perfect. I totally agree with this but it seems to be a bit more yeah maybe not not as smooth as it, as it could be. And yeah, before I'm going to die, I'm going to just stop the game right here. And then there's one final game to play. And we won't play it on the Galaxy S8 Plus. We're gonna play it on the Galaxy S8. Yeah, it's Super Mario. And this is for a simple reason. Because on the Galaxy S8, by default, in the game launcher, you're gonna find Super Mario Run as an option. So it's not even downloaded, but you have it preloaded or at least kind of pre-installed or advised, advertised in the game launcher menu. And I just installed it on the Galaxy S8 and we're going to switch to full screen mode because I think to run, the, uh, to run Super Mario Run in full screen mode is quite nice because the Galaxy S8, as you see, it looks perfectly in, your, in just one hand and it's 
good for one-handed usage. So when you're playing Super Mario Run, even though I'm not a big fan of the game, so you can actually play it perfectly one-handed. Even though it's kind of interesting to see how good you actually can play it on the Galaxy S8 and on the Galaxy S8 Plus. Because the Galaxy S8 comes with an 8 uh, with an 5.8 inch screen with this new aspect ratio. And in comparison, the iPhone 7 Plus I got here comes with an 5.5 inch screen. Bigger bezels, bigger frame and the old 16.9 aspect ratio. And when you compare it to this gaming experience, it's laying kind of odd and kind of yeah, bulky or something in your hand. So it's not that nice to actually play this game on the iPhone 7 Plus as it's very nice in comparison to be played on the Samsung Galaxy S8. And even on the Galaxy S8 Plus, with its 6.2 inch screen, you see, it fits perfectly in your hand. I think it's because of the etched backside of the Galaxy S8 Plus and the iPhone 7 Plus actually feels, I would say, a bit, yeah, too big or something in comparison to be playable just one hander. So this was some gaming on the brand new Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus and for me it was kind of surprising that Samsung added a full screen mode to the game launcher. By adding the full screen mode to the game launcher you can actually play all games available on the new 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio without any drawbacks. This is actually quite nice, I was afraid that this wouldn't be possible. For the rest, well, you have one of the best displays, you have one of the best SOCs, you have the best memory and you have the best actually storage. So I think that you won't have any issues by playing any games available. So I'm quite amazed by the gaming performance of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions regarding the both devices, just let me know below in the comments. We're gonna continue to make videos about the both devices, so be sure to follow us here on YouTube. I'm Lars from All About Samsung. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.